More than 130 teacher and staff jobs are on the chopping block tonight at Desert Sands Unified School District. KMIR 6's Angela Monroe was at tonight's meeting and joins us now with the latest. Angela. Tonight, the Valley's largest school board voted to approve final layoff notices to 70 teachers and dozens of support staff, including bus drivers and custodians. And many people wonder if the cuts will ever end. If you feel like teacher layoffs is a story you've heard before, you're right. You start to wonder, you know, when is it finally going to end and things start to improve. And when you hear it yet again another year, you get a little frustrated because you feel, you know, how much further can we go? How many more cuts is it going to take? Desert Sands officials say since 2008, their state funding has been cut by $60 million. Because of the January budget, we're already facing a $7.5 million cut. If the governor's initiative ballot in November doesn't pass, another 9.5 to that. But the California School Employees Association rep says these cuts are still premature. Until which time that we see what the state legislature is going to do, what the governors may revise for the budget is going to be, what happens with tax revenues in the next quarter, and particularly until the voters have a say. Because I think at this point, the voters have a very important role to play about whether we're going to fund our schools better. But Desert Sands has brought many staff back in the past by cutting their own salaries. I hope that we will continue working together and that at the bargaining table we can um, give up some of our pay to, to bring back employees. Contract negotiations just started and the Teachers Association president told me their biggest concern is the students. The thought is, and I know because I was, I was there myself, I, I, I got a RIF notice and all I could think about is, oh my gosh, what's going to happen to my students? What's going to happen to the programs that I've built and worked so hard for? So nobody goes into this to become rich. We go into it because we love it and we love the kids. And when we see that the kids are going to be hurt, that hurts us as well. And school officials explain to me these big budget deficits. They rely heavily on state money, and with property tax revenues down and a stretched state budget, the state is only giving them about 80% of what a state formula dictates they should be getting. Gino, back to you.